Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to build these menus at the top of your application. And before we get started, I actually just want to go over some terminology real quick and explain exactly how we're going to be putting this together. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the individual menus. So for example, this is a file menu, this is an edit menu, this is a view menu. You of course usually have you know maybe like five or six menus in every single piece of software so after we create the menu we're gonna start adding the items so all of the options in this little drop down list these are called the menu items so we have a menu made up of a bunch of different menu items and then once we have a bunch of different menus built we're gonna add them all to the menu bar and that's this entire area at the top of your screen and for this little demo I'm actually using a border pane layout and I like it because whenever you use a border pane layout it gives you the top left center right and bottom and you can just take your entire menu bar and stick it right on top and it works perfectly so anyways the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to create a menu before we can actually stick any items in it so I'll just say um, file menu I'll just kind of make a little clone of this but I'll like uh, make my own custom ones. All right, so this is type menu and you can name anything you want. I'm gonna name it file menu and you set it equal to new menu and for the constructor, it takes one parameter, which is a string and that's what text do you wanna appear right here? So if I just write file, then what's gonna happen is this button right here is gonna say file, not the individual items, didn't get to those yet just this button so that's what that does and now once we have a menu we can start sticking items into it so I'll say menu items alright so how do we add items to this menu well you first need to get the menu which is file menu and then you call get items so just like before it needs to know what items are already in it before you start sticking any new ones in and even if it's your first item you still have to call get items doesn't matter and then the next thing you call is add now add allows you to add one menu item to this menu so what we can actually do is we can create a new object and name it something or we can just do this really easily in order to create a menu item you just call a new menu item and then you give it the title. So what was the title of this first menu item? New project dot dot dot. So new project dot dot dot. So there you go. We now have a file menu and we have one item added to it. And what was the other ones? New module import project. New module import project alright so we have a file menu and we now have the first three items added to it so I'll show you guys some other cool stuff in just a second but for now I just want to keep things really simple so whenever you have a menu set up and you have all your items added to it what you have to do now is you need to add it to a menu bar so I'll say the main menu bar alright now you guys can probably guess what the object this is I just name it menu bar and you set it equal to new menu bar now this doesn't take any title or anything because again no text appears on here it's just the text that's on your individual menu so don't need to do anything to that now after this we need to start adding the individual menus to it now typically we're gonna have a bunch of them like file menu edit menu view menu however we only have one menu right now so it's gonna look kinda goofy but whatever so menu bar get menus add and I'll just write add all even though I just have one for right now and what is the name of the menu that you wanna add to the menu bar well it's file menu and I actually have to lay out I don't think that alright this is just for my border pane layout. Set the top equal to menu bar. So basically what I'm saying is I have a border pane layout. I'm gonna build this menu bar 
and then I'm going to stick it in the top section of this border pane. So let me just go ahead and run this real quick and show you guys what's going on. So look how awesome <laughs> this program is. The plainest program ever. But basically we have a file menu and we can click it. New project, new module, import project. Of course when we click these nothing happens yet because you know we didn't add any functionality. But um, I'll show you guys how to do that right now. And actually before I continue I want to mention one thing. You see how whenever I create a menu I added these three little dots? These actually mean something. If you click any menu in any piece of software, you see that some options have dots and some don't. For example, exit. Whenever a menu item has dots after it, it means whenever you click it, a new window or a new dialog is going to open. Whenever it has this arrow, it means there's a submenu. And whenever it has nothing, it just means that that's um, the only option. So again, for example, whenever you hit exit, it just closes your program and there's nothing else to do. So dots mean there's something else to do. Arrow means a submenu and no dots or no arrow just means that's it.